Thanks for checking out this highlight from Epic Loot Radio. If you want to see the full podcast after the highlight, just check the top link in the description for more. First things first, the patch that was previously released on Steam and PlayStation is now available for Xbox. I am ultimately insanely curious as to why. <laughs> like, why that took like, over a week to have that happen. Anyhow, it happened. There we go. Uh, Steam uh, PlayStation will have also received an additional minor patch, the content of which has already been rolled out into today's Xbox patch so that all platforms are now aligned. We've got further good news to share with you today. We believe that we've identified how uh, and now prevented the inventory wipe and item disappearing issue that has occurred that in the Outriders. seems like pretty game-breaking. Yeah, that had to be fixed. Uh, that needed. Now, they talked about how they're going to do like a restoration and stuff like that. And I think that's the article covers it as I kind of scrolled it for a second. But yeah, like you don't. Oh, you launched this game and, and you got that amazing gun and we decided to delete it for you. Like, that's not that's not the YouTube video that you yeah. want. That's not the headline, you know, that you want. Outriders launch. Uh, everybody loves it except for it deletes your stuff. And then everybody's like, well, you tell me when you're ready. And then Monster Hunter Rise just consumes everybody. Um, we actually published the fix for this issue on Monday, but we have been using the days since to verify whether our resolution has actually been successful or not in order to make any false promises. PCF people can fly cheese Louise. You guys are, I think you're crushing it in terms of like setting expectations. Like, Hey guys, we fixed it. No, you didn't. (laughs) Uh, today's patch, we added an extra safeguard against this issue occurring in future based, uh, and our findings. Now to that end, we'd like to ask if any players who have had their inventory wiped, or if any of the following days, please let us know on this comment thread or reply to this tweet. Tuesday, March 16th, Wednesday, March 17th, Thursday, March 18th, today or any day after, all going forward. Uh, So we hope that there are no inventory wipes, but should they have occurred in these days, uh, but just know to ensure that this issue has been resolved, please let us know. So guys, if if you get an inventory wipe, please let them know. You're doing everybody a favor. Your sacrifice is uh, for the greater good. So restoration. Now that we believe that the issue has been prevented going forward, we can focus a bit on more how we plan to compensate effective players. We fully understand the disappointment of feeling like you've lost significant progress, items, or time. And we would love to assure you that we're doing everything in our power to make things right. While we are still working on the exact technicalities uh, below, here are our intentions for item restorations. Restoration should take place on a specific day and should be a one-time event. The exact date for uh, TBC but we are hoping that this will occur prior to the launch of April 1st. We will update you when we have confirmed the dates and times. We will only be able to restore legendary items that have been lost as a result of this bug. Now that we, uh, we will not be able to restore items of a rarity below legendary at the time or at this time, you do not need to get in touch with us or report inventory disappearances that have occurred prior to Monday, March 15th. Please note, that these are our intentions and we are providing, we are providing them here for transparency. While we will try our hardest to make sure that things are right. We unfortunately cannot make guarantees for the specifics or the amount or the timeline. As of this, we may run into technical difficulties that will delay that work accolades. This appears to be a separate issue and we still need to uncover the full extent in order to better tailor out our resolution for it. To that end, anyone who has had their acc- accolades wiped, please reply to the comment or the tweet and understand that these number of players affected by this might help gr- uh, us greatly as we continue to investigate this issue. Other things that they're investigating in hopes for improvements before launch. Two week timeline, guys. Like turning things around in, de- in game development is hard. Um Anyway, before launch, touchpad sensitivity being too high on PlayStation controllers, leading to unintended menu openings. Oh, man. (laughs) Further optimizations on multiplayer connections. Uh, The main game will also include a host of improvements and bug fixes that weren't possible to be integrated into the demo at the time of the demo's release due to when we had to split development builds. So even if there are things that we may not have directly addressed during these updates so far, there's a good chance that they will be resolved with the launch build, a.k.a. crashes. Hopefully that's the thing. Chaos, you had the game crash on you. Uh, this Loads. Week. Loads of times. Um, and if there's anything you feel free uh, that I haven't had an answer on, uh, the reason is most likely that uh, as, that I, as a community manager, haven't yet found the time to publicly confirm answers for those specific questions. That shortcoming is on me, though I have not the intention of ignoring or anything of the team as a whole. Please do feel free to tag my Reddit handle, uh, the Akron, uh, or anything that you would like a specific answer on, and I will try to take a look at it if I am able. So I... It's like particularly reading through that um, thread, mm-hmm. 
it just makes me think like there was a mistake made with this demo. I really think that this was a mistake and that was having all of those legendaries be able to drop because people are going insane. There's <laughs> there's like they're going crazy farming this to the point where the developers felt the need like hey, we need to nerf this. People are going to spoil themselves and then people apparently backlashed against it and they were like, "Well, this is what they want. Unnerf it, you know, turn the turn the knob back on and make the loot drop again." And I'm just thinking to myself, like, people are going to burn out on this game before the game actually comes out by repeatedly farming. Because you're farming the same boss, right? That's how you're farming Legos Chaos, tell me, right? You're Pretty farming much. Goss. No, no, no. We're farming It's not captain. Goss? No, Goss is okay, too so time-consuming. Okay. Uh, it's just a certain captain. You just run to him, kill him, kill and a couple reset. of the NPCs, and then they wipe you, and then you reset, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. This is... It's amazing value. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it's this. It's so... Go ahead. It's, I th I think it's a terrible thing to do because I can't do that. Like whenever I start doing that in the game, that is the easiest way for me to be like, well, uh, I guess I'm done with this game. Goodbye. Like even in the original Destiny, when people started doing the loot cave yeah. and I saw people doing the loot cave, I was like, wow, this, this is great, guys. Like really top of the notch gameplay. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to and say. Five minutes later, you see Rurikon there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I I did it. I did the loot cave once just because see? I wanted to see. I knew it. Listen, because I wanted to see how it worked. And after I did it that one time, I was like, "This is stupid." I I'd rather literally be playing anything else. Like I'll go yeah. play solitaire. <laughs> like what the hell? Gamers and will optimize like, the fun out of anything, man. What, I mean, one of the things one of the things that I always say, by the way, is that this is my opinion. I'm not trying to dictate how people should play the game. If this is what people want to do, go ahead and do it. Like go right ahead. But I do think that in the long run. A lot of the people that are currently just like farming that captain nonstop, eventually when the game comes out, they're going to be a little bit bored of the game. That That's my opinion. But, you know, you do you. That's the way that I always so what say. what do you think of that guy that spent 254 hours in what? There's a Tender? guy who... Yeah, he spent basically just over or just under 17 hours a day farming for legendaries. How many did he get? All of them worth it <laughs> <laughs> that snapshot that face that was priceless <laughs> it's like listen i i'm not one to speak because i probably spent like i don't know over a hundred hours on the monster hunter rise demo but the difference there is that i spent those 100 hours because i was creating content mm -hmm. i wasn't i wasn't actively playing for fun i was playing to just have content to put on my channel because like i repeatedly said if i was not creating content I wouldn't even play the demos. I wouldn't even watch the trailers. I would stay as far away from everything as possible to be mm -hmm. surprised when I actually play the, the final game. And if people already have, like, I don't know. I don't know if all of the legendaries are available. I would assume no, not. not. Not all the legendaries in the game, right? So it's 50, I think, and they've only given you 10. 50! Oh, they're giving you 10. Okay. But still, dude, I, th I think that people are really going to burn themselves out. That's insane. 254 hours in 10 days of farming, little of, of literally going up to a captain, blowing him up, and then resetting and doing it I again know. and again and again and again. That's worth, crazy. Right? Now, what they... I said was in my video um, before was that I genuinely believe that putting legendaries in the game, in the demo, was a bad idea. What they should yeah. have done is have Gorse drop one the one that he's using, and let people get a taste of that one. Make that be a 100% drop, and let people just enjoy what a legendary feels like in this game, and that's it. And yeah. I think that would have been the best approach going forward, because at that point, people would have had you know, an insight into how legendaries work, how powerful they are, how cool they are, and they'll have used it throughout the game. Sure, they wouldn't They'd have farmed as much, but I think that that would have been the better approach. Um, Can we talk I about think some that personal of responsibility for these gamers though? Like, if they want to spend that time and like, if, and they burn themselves out, Dude, they have free will. Like, like, they can always go do yeah. something else. No, I I completely agree. That that's why I I instantly said it immediately after I said like, look, this is the way I look at things, but. You guys do you. That's one of the things that I've learned is whenever I tend to say something that is my opinion, sometimes people seem to think that I'm preaching. It's like, I'm not preaching. Like, if you want to spend 300, 500 hours on the demo, I'm not going to stop you. You go and you have fun. Everybody knows how they enjoy games the best. 
I just don't see things the same way. And I agree with what Chaos said, which is I think there should have been one Lego. I don't think it should be 100%. I think it should be like 50, 60, so that some people have to do it more than once because it wouldn't be the end of the world to go farm Goss like three to five times. Yeah. You know, with a with a drop rate of 60%, you'd eventually get it. But, you know, make it achievable so that everyone that wants to get everything they can from the demo, they would be able to without necessarily having to burn hundreds of hours into the demo because I don't think, I think that's going to come back to bite the game in the ass. Not well, to mention, there's going to be there's going to be people that if you match make, um, you know, early in the, in the story missions, and you match make with someone that has like all the Legos, they're going to be just like blowing through everything. You're like, wow! Like you take one shot and you just see a nuclear explosion on screen and everything dies, and it's like, oh, okay. That if anything, that is going to make me want to go to match make even less. Like, I'm going to be like, no, I'll, I'll play by myself. Thank you. I don't like getting carried. I say preach, man. Just anytime you're going to preach, just always be like in the name of the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, <laughs> select, start. <laughs> so anyway, that's my fun joke. Uh, the uh, Chaos, are you about to say something? Yeah, I'm just going to say uh, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? At the same time, you know, all these people getting the legendaries and they're having an amazing time. They're really enjoying the legendary weapons. And then you've got those that have spent 100 hours and haven't got a single one. Now, obviously, we're in World Tier 5, which is the you know when legendaries actually get introduced into the loot pool at the lowest percentage point. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to be extremely rare. However, when you see on social media, I've got 15 legendaries in 20 hours, and then you see that other guy go 100 hours without a single legendary. That's yeah. enough to put them off buying the game. And but they don't have the to buy the game. It's on Game Pass, bro. <laughs> that's, if they have, that's if they have Xbox. Oh, that's true. Like, that's, yeah, is, that, is that's also so it much negative. That, 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 no, it's no. not. It's not on PC. I think oh. only on Xbox. So, I wouldn't be surprised know. if that comes out, though. Like, when we look at the fact that they say, like, Destiny's coming to Game Pass PC, where it's like, I, I'm wondering if they're still behind the scenes. Like, that art, that infrastructure does yet to exist within the Steam ecosystem because that's where the game's at, right? Um, but go ahead, Chaos. Um, so yeah, um, it just creates that negative con connotation that yeah. if I if I look at someone else and I'm he, they're having an amazing time, hundred twenty Legos, thirty Legos, and then I'm there hundred. I think there was someone that I saw in my stream, hundred and twenty hours and still hadn't got a single legendary weapon. You we know, should start picking them. That up. would be enough. I mean, that RNG is completely utterly terrible. RNG that's... is perfectly fine the, when you factor thing... in the full game of the of the crafting system. Oh, this yeah. is what I'm saying, but people yeah. don't see it that way, do they? They see it yeah. like he's got twenty legendaries, and a third of the time, I've got zero. The Best problem game, is I'm that. Out. Yeah, the, the problem that's the, that's that... the problem. <laughs> The world, the world tier five is going to give you like a very low chance of getting it because the higher the world tier is, the higher the chances of you getting the higher rarity items. Um, so people are looking at this and whoever is naturally very, very lucky, they're going to get a ton of them. And people that are not that lucky, you're not going to get them. Like I can tell you right now, I didn't get a Lego and I ran through the game like, I don't know, three times, maybe something like that. But uh I wouldn't expect to get a Lego because I'm naturally unlucky when it comes to, to some of these loot games. Like there's a really rare item in Moss on World. I had a friend of mine who would keep getting it repeatedly in the same session as me. And he would keep <laughs> rubbing it in my face. And I was like, I hate you. Stop. <laughs> and I would never get it. Like sometimes you would get 10 of that item in all in, in one session. And I would go back to base with nothing, with friggin nothing to show for. And that is terrible. Yeah, doesn't feel right. Is. Doesn't feel great, does it? Especially when no. you're know, missing those gems, and then exactly. your partner's got like a hundred of them in one run. I'm like, I don't know, man. Gamers <laughs> are weird because it's like, all right, like I've I've put over probably I think 25 hours into the into the demo, and uh, and I've got two legendaries, and I'm so happy. Like I don't, it, the gameplay is so good that I don't care if I get the drop or not. Like the gameplay is so good, I can't wait to experience more. I came back and, and farmed and what I my I mean and this is just my strategy because like I have a you know I have things that and people who need me so it's not like I can put that kind of time into it so responsibilities I'm responsibilities we're working on our taxes right now it's really fun uh but the <laughs> The idea, the like, idea. I would just pop on, like, oh, I got 30 minutes. Let me run a couple of, like, let me just go pop on, run a couple, see if a Lego pops. No, okay, hmm. not a problem. Like, okay, I'll come back and do this. 
I'll come back and do this later. Like it's, I, I, I don't know. I, I believe in a kind of a variety approach. So I, I would always do like a couple of runs of like, and resets. And then I would go do like a round of all the different stuff. Like I was always just like, I think variety is, is the way you prevent burnout, but go ahead. But that's, that's a much healthier approach to it. You're not sitting there hours on end farming this one captain and then resetting for the purpose of achieving maximum Legos. You're actually trying to have some fun while they're playing the game. I don't think you're going to burn out playing like that. My concern is the people that are doing the thing of like the reset and just go, 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 go. And you know, yeah. You can lead a horse to water. You you like like you, you can sit here and it's like whenever and this is and this is my like gamers get so mad at me when I when I kind of start talking about this. This is where when people like put game balance over fun annoys the crap out of me. Oh, some some jerk off and and some other like corner of the world's gonna uh, might potentially abuse this system and it affects me n- not at all and we we can't allow that like just let it go like it's like and that's just kind of like that's my my gamer gamer pet peeve like okay all right somebody's gonna farm it for 600 hours and then they burn out the world moves on like i'm <laughs> i'm just gonna keep going i don't know man i'm gonna keep playing they, they might not watch my video because they hate the they hate the game now uh it's just like anybody when i post a destiny video i've got sixteen thousand hours in this game and this game is a utter piece of trash I don't let me, let's talk about that, buddy. Like, <laughs> that's a, that that's that's the thing about um, when you're that's something that's going to happen to a lot of creators because mm-hmm. they focus on one game to the detriment of everything else, and you know, eventually you're going to burn out. Doesn't matter if you're just playing the same game again and again yeah. and again. You're eventually you're going to burn out. There's no way around it. And you know, people that specialize in Destiny or Minecraft or mm-hmm. you know, and they only do that one thing eventually it's going to happen. There's, there's no avoiding it. You know, what's funny though, like on the content creation side, before we kind of jump into like the big gotcha topic, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, I, I thought about this. Oh. I was like, I have to write it down. Cause I'm going to, it's so good. I'm going to forget about it. Um, but the people who even do variety have the same problem. So we were, we've been covering, we kind of reacted to uh lazy peon and his absolute state of the MMO, uh, like, and, and kind of talked about that over on work to game. And the core of it is that he's so become such a variety aspect, like where like he only can able to touch. He can't like really sing like you're you're basically going on a like a 50 second date with all of these uh, games and you're never really kind of like, yeah, they're not really they're all kind of the same. Well, like, yeah, when you generalize it so much, maybe they are all the same at, at the at the core. But every like you're never go- having that experience to get get that deep relationship, that deep understanding in it. Not that variety is bad and not that playing one game is, is bad. I'm just saying like, I see kind of where like sometimes maybe just stop worrying about like playing every new game that comes out and not actually, cause I, I, I don't finish a lot of games, so I don't buy a lot of games. I know that about me. Anyway, go ahead. Kay. Uh, you look like you're, I, I would argue that what lazy peon does is not technically speaking variety. I mean, he's, He's he just checks genre. out MMOs. Yeah, he's in a It's MMOs. Genre. Yeah. So it's like every, 90% of MMOs start exactly the same way. Like, here's your dude. Your dude's weak. Go kill some slimes or go kill some other random <laughs> level one monster. Your dude's stronger now. <laughs> Equip better things on your dude. Go kill bigger things. Like, you know, that that's MMOs in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's really literally in a nutshell. Yeah. It's like, hey, you're. that's an RPG. It's like. Maybe maybe go play like a uh, like go play Minecraft or something, man. Like it looks like that could be helpful. Yeah. But I, I see that it's like time. well, and I see that with also a lot of like uh, like people who who want to do variety. It's like if you're always, you know, you're always a, a bridesmaid, never a bride. You know, it's like you're always just like hey, here's the next thing, and then you're like, all right, I got two. It's been two weeks. Got to move on to the next thing. It's like sometimes it, it's kind of nice to settle down and and say like this is what I like. This is the game I like. I'm gonna play this for a while, and then when that oh, game yeah. starts to sit here and, and bite you back in the face, and you're like. After your 16,000 hours in Destiny and, you know, it's like, yeah, go play something else. Take a break. You know, I don't know. Seems don't like you tell me to take a break. I'm you not don't telling pay you. That's yeah, true. You don't pay my sub. <laughs> exactly. That's fair, fair point. Fair point. I, I do not pay. I do not pay his sub, everybody. So so we know. Uh, in that I want to queue. I want to queue as a healer in DPS. You don't pay my sub. I don't care. Oh, man. I'm so well, We don't complete the dungeon. don't care either (laughs) I hope that you really enjoyed that highlight and I hope that you check out the full podcast again link is in the description thanks for being here and hope you have a fantastic day you wonderful beautiful individuals